90% of the people that I've given lessons to have all come with the same issue, which is slicing the golf ball. Part of this comes from the fact that we've kind of misconstrued the ball flight laws for so long. So we always figured, okay, club face has to do with curve and path has to do with where the ball starts. Well, as we've seen through some of the new technology like TrackMan, we've seen that the face is 85% responsible for the direction of the golf ball. So it's not leaving at a right angle, but 85% of that. Now the path that the golf club takes is going to be responsible for the curve that the ball's on. So if the face is pointed like this, the ball's gonna start quite a bit out to the right. If the face is pointed like this, the ball's gonna start quite a bit to the left. So you curve the golf ball with your path and you start the golf ball with the club face. So as you can see on the ground, I've set up some sticks, one in red to show in to out in a path and in orange to show out to in. So a typical slice move would look like this. The player would get to the top, they don't move forward enough in their downswing and also their arms, as you can see, are up too high in this position. So from here, naturally, as they start to spin off their right foot and they don't move forward, the club comes down and works out on this path and then across the ball on this path. So what I would want you to do is not focus so much on where those orange lines are and that out to in, but understand that we want to get the feeling that the hand path and the club's path is on this red line moving out down that red line. So what that's going to do is change the backswing position from here more to where the arms are around the body. And now from here, we're gonna to have to drive our body forward and really feel like we're getting our arms down from the inside, which allows us to start swinging into the golf ball from the inside and then feeling like we're moving out on the golf ball through here. So the thing is at 100 miles an hour of club speed, if a, club, if a ball's hit out to in versus into out, that could turn into almost 30 yards in the air because when you hit a golf ball from in to out, you transfer more energy into the proper part of the golf ball. Okay, so if you can shift your path from out to in to in to out, you'll have more success at hitting the ball straighter, shooting lower scores.